everyone, and welcome to BSF Recovery Team. Many of you have asked if I've ever given up on a recovery. Well, maybe this video will help give you an answer to that question. We got a Bronco stuck up on that hill that's only got power to one wheel now, and he's really, really deep into some quicksand. First, we gotta get a tree out of our way so we can back in there, back up the hill, and hook onto him. Break it, break it. Pull back. His suck. <laughs> okay, what did you break? Front and rear. Both, actually. What year's your vehicle? 79 Ford. What size tires? 40. What tires? There's no tires there. They're gone. What's under the hood? This is 400. How long have you been coming to Dresden, Wisconsin? My fifth year. Where are you from? Glenwood City. What? Glenwood City, Wisconsin. Ah. So did you break anything really major? Don't know yet. We'll find hmm. out when I get it back. Cleaned off. Did you have fun though? Oh yeah. You gonna come back to Troll Hugging? Maybe. Oh come on, you Most have likely. to. Most likely. You have to. Find it's something fun. bigger and better. Yeah? Not sure yet? Can't see it. <laughs> Maybe the spool let loose. Had that happen last year. Spines in the spool for... Where are you from? Glenwood City, Wisconsin. After Mike got the tree cut out of the way, we had a straight shot at backing the wrecker up the hill to the pocket where the Bronco was stuck. After backing the wrecker up the hill, that's when I got my first look at the Bronco. And it was stuck in some really thick and wet sandy clay. Hard to fold that up until we're done. Fold it up? Fold it up so it's on the deck. <laughs> parking ball a whole 10,000 pounds of wrecker on this hill. So we're going to have to sit in here and hold the brake while they do the work. You're supervising. That's what it's called. have to admit, as you will see from the first couple failed attempts at trying to move the Bronco, I kind of underestimated how stuck this Bronco was. What I failed to remember is just how this hill got its name, peanut butter and jelly. It had been quite a few years since we had a spring event when the weather was this wet, but I was soon reminded when it is this wet, the mud on this hill has a striking resemblance to thick peanut butter and becomes just as sticky. It didn't take a whole lot of tension on the wench cable for me to realize that with the precarious position of the wrecker and the angle of pull, that we were going to have to get a little more creative to get this Bronco unstuck. Unless you back up more and set yourself in that hole there, then it'll be more of a straight. But right now you have all that leverage being up on top of that hump. I know. I'm wondering if you should hook to the other side so it picks it up more than at this point, I was still hoping that using the winch cable straight off of the boom would be able to pick the back end of the Bronco up enough out of the mud so I could pull it out. You pick up on the both sides. You know, if you're 
left it on the cold side. It's But unfortunately, it was putting a little more pressure than I was comfortable with on my left rear spring. And it was also picking my right front tire off the ground a little bit. Because I really didn't want to pull my wrecker over on its side in the middle of this hill, I told Ryan to slack off on the cable and break out the snatch block. By attaching a snatch block to the Bronco and stringing the cable back to a low hook point on the wrecker, I would reduce the load on the boom. I knew I wouldn't get as much lift on the back end of the Bronco that way, but it would also keep me from rolling my wrecker over on the side of this hill. Throw it at him. Catch! <laughs> Have you drop it, Ryan? You have to dig in the mud for it. Really? <laughs> Allergic? Well, as you can see, 
the Broncos still didn't want to move. So the next trick I had my crew try was simply patience. You see, when wenching out a thick mud, quite often it works if you apply a fair amount of tension and then wait a few minutes and let the mud release its grip on the stuck vehicle. Because of this peanut butter like mud, that wasn't working very well either. So I had Ryan slack off on the cable again and thought I better back the truck up, park it in a good spot, and get out and take a closer look at the situation. That was a good catch, honey. <laughs> Genius, Eric. <laughs> Get 
a shovel. Anybody got a shovel? <laughs> I'll get in there. I only got sandals, so I can get we'll in there. One more line. Black rock. We'll do, we'll do it one more time. By using one more pulley and creating three lines between the Bronco and the tree reduces the load on my boom cable and also increases the capacity between the tree and the Bronco. This is also a perfect opportunity to remind you the importance of quality hook points on your off-road vehicle. Because as you'll see in a moment, there's a lot of force between that bronco and that tree. went down the hill. <laughs> What'd you say? Said if I ever had to pull one this hard, and I said it's not except myself. So it's literally a one wheel wonder, huh? As you can see, there's a lot of stress on that tow point right now. You'll have to tune in next week to see if we get the Bronco out. Thanks for watching BSF Recovery Team, and maybe we'll see you in the woods.